Hi, I'm Dan Ackerman, Executive Leader for Zealand Classes of the RCA. This is your Whiteboard Wednesday for today. Today we're going to talk about creating job descriptions for kingdom growth. The great news about Pentecost is that God entrusted his church with a plan to expand his kingdom here. In fact, God's mission in Pentecost or from Pentecost could be described as kingdom expansion. The bad news is the church has struggled from then on to kind of live into expansion rather than either contraction or struggles with staying the same. And some of that has been how we examine or think about staff. So today, let's think about staff. How do we typically describe or begin a job description? The answer is we usually put to-do lists down and we combine them by like-minded topics. And so suddenly, we have a pastor who has a to-do list that may be longer than the rest. We have a worship person who has a to-do list. And we maybe have a youth or children's person who also has a to-do list. And then depending on the list, we hour them out and we say, oh, this one is 40 hours a week and this one is 20 and this one is 30. And the to-do list define the job. And the to-do list is most often about how do we keep things that are happening still happening, particularly in an era where volunteering has become more and more difficult to come by. And so the job list describes or defines the job, and it's not about kingdom expansion at all, it's about maintaining. So how do we change that reality? There's three words that will help us do that. The first one is recruit. The second one is develop, and the third one is deploy. Here's the reality of building job descriptions. What if 40% or 50% of our job descriptions weren't a list of to-dos, but rather were revolving around who do we need to recruit how do we need to develop them and where would we deploy that person so that each person's job, whether it's the teaching pastor or the youth and children's worker or the worships person was the concept of who am I recruiting, how am I developing and where am I going to deploy them? Suddenly, it's not a to-do list that takes over my life. It's the opportunity to empower other people to take over ministry in the church. And suddenly, God's mission in the job description is actually kingdom expansion because we can make more calls because people are trained on community calling and they're ready to go do it. We can reach more students because people are comfortable and trained and equipped and deployed. So as you think about the job descriptions in your church and you go through those times where you assess them, don't think about the to-do list. Start with who is this person going to recruit, develop, and deploy because God's mission is kingdom expansion. And that's your Whiteboard Wednesday, and I'm Dan Ackerman from Zealand Classes.